I think one of the most exciting things we've seen is putting our system on a shake table and watching it move and understanding after the dust settles, so to speak, that it's in the same place, it's functioning, it's still operating, and it can take the toughest earthquakes that nature's gonna dish out. My name is Mike Williams. I'm the Senior Vice President of Engineering for Sunlink. Sunlink is a balance of system provider based in San Rafael, California. It initially had a terrific concept about linked solar array racking systems, hence the name Sunlink. However, the last couple of years, we've expanded our product offerings. We now have combiner boxes, wire management, and extensive engineering support. So we're a full service balance of system provider. Over the last seven years, Sunlink has invested well over $2 million in research and development. We do this to continually improve our products and to demonstrate that we can provide safer, more cost-effective, and efficient systems for our customers. One of the strengths of the Sunlink R&D program is our relationship with other firms and entities. Rutherford & Jakeen is one of the premier structural engineering firms in the country. We've been fortunate to solicit their help and input on various algorithms for analyzing our systems, as well as interpreting the data that we collect during our field trials. Rutherford & Chikine has been in partnership with Sunlink since 2008. We provide structural engineering services in support of Sunlink's product development and product design. We also support them in installation of their products and various rooftops throughout the world. Some of those rooftops are in high seismic zones, and we have to answer the question, what will happen to a solar array when a large earthquake strikes? I'm Joe Maffei. I'm a structural engineer and a principal with the firm Rutherford & Chikine, a structural engineering firm in San Francisco. Sunlink asked Rutherford & Chikine if we could demonstrate the acceptability of solar panel installations on roofs without any positive attachments to the structures. That's solar panel installations held down by the weight of ballast only. And to solve this problem, Rutherford and Chikin created computer analysis models of the possibility of earthquakes striking a building that has a solar array on top. We were able to model this in simulation on the computer, considering a range of possible earthquakes a range of possible building types with different dynamic characteristics under earthquake motion, and determine how much the array would move. We felt very confident in our analyses, but we said at the time, boy, it sure would be nice to be able to put this on a shake table and verify our analyses with an experiment. We were fortunate to be able to take advantage of our relationship with the University of California at Berkeley. They have and operate one of the largest shake tables in the U.S. Over the last two weeks, we've had a team of people here putting our systems on the shake table. These full-scale production systems show us exactly how our systems respond to various seismic events. We wanted this test to be as realistic as possible, and we ran a total of 119 unique combinations of solar array type, roof slope, roof properties, and earthquake motion. This test includes 60 instruments on the roof, accelerometers to measure the acceleration of the roof surface itself and the acceleration of the array itself on top of the roof. It includes uh, potentiometers and displacement transducers to very precisely measure how far the array moves with respect to the roof. One of the things that we found in the test is the whole idea of a linked system works really well. The systems behaved well, remained intact, continued to function, and came through the, the seismic testing 100%. Sunlink finds that the interpretation of the data from the field test really helps permitting officials understand the performance of our products on roofs. This typically enables our customers to have a shorter and more efficient permitting process. This R&D effort was funded through the California Solar Initiative. Sunlink was awarded a grant, which was designed to help reduce the cost of solar installation in California and to increase the size of the market. As with all of our testing programs, the results, the things that we learn, feed directly into our product development cycles. We use the information that we gain from these tests to improve our products, to make them more cost-effective, more efficient, and safer for our customers. 
Sunlink is unique in the solar industry for its commitment to research and development, for its willingness to invest in technology, to invest in gaining new knowledge. Eventually the entire industry will benefit from Sunlink's research.